Good morning guys, welcome back to another video with me. If you're new here, my name is Amy and I've been on a weight loss journey for the last couple of years and I've lost 60 pounds following the start solution and using the principles of calorie density. I wanna show you what I'm eating every single day as a busy mum of two, how I make this lifestyle work for me, how I eat massive portions of delicious food every single day and uh, lose weight effortlessly in the process. So today I want to take you throughout my day. It is a busy Saturday in my household and um, we've got a few different plans depending on what the weather's doing. But basically, I've decided to start my morning off with a lovely bouncing session. I love uh, rebounding. <clears throat> I do just want to say <clears throat> I did not lose the majority of my weight I, well, I didn't really lose any weight or what, through rebounding or through um, exercise, really. I, it is really all about the food. If you are looking for weight loss, it is about the food. <clears throat> exercise is obviously fantastic for your body and brilliant for changing up your body composition and all that kind of stuff and fantastic for your health. But really, it's all about the food. So <clears throat> make that be your focus if you're looking to lose weight. So anyway, um, I having said that, I am now trying to get into... Um, the realm of being really fit and healthy after my weight loss and I'm wanting to work on building some muscle and all that kind of stuff so I am starting with a lovely rebounding session this morning then I'm going to be making well I've actually already got some veggies on downstairs because if you guys don't know I start my day with veggies and beans every single morning I just absolutely love it they give me so much bulk I'm a volume eater so I need to eat a lot of food so when I start my day with veggies they just it fills me up so nicely and then that's the first part of my breakfast then I have breakfast part two obviously um so anyway I've got that cooking downstairs but for breakfast part two my little boy and my little girl are going to help me make some chickpea chocolate banana ice cream which I'm very excited about I call it chocolate fluff because it is fluffy like a cloud anyway um and then we're going to go out and we're going to go to a little food market and we're going to wander around I'm going to take food with me obviously but I also know that I can get a nice smoothie there and some lovely fruit and stuff like that anyway um so yeah so let's go downstairs and do some bouncing okay guys I've finished my workout and I'm going in with a mega ton of veggies I have got one no two little heads of broccoli two courgettes and an entire thing of um chard so really need to be using up stuff so i just whack it in with my morning veggies i'm very excited this morning because i'm going to be sharing these veggies with abe and romy i love getting veggies into my babies and when you model eating veggies to them when you model eating veggies to your family, it um, encourages them to get them in as well. So anyway, I'm going to put a few bits of um, broccoli and courgette and stuff aside for the kids. And then I'm going to put my mountain of hummus on top right here. Romy. Here is Romy's little portion of veggies and hummus. And she seems really, really excited about it. Which one are you going to have first, Roms? Which one do you love? You love the courgette? You wanna have some yummy courgette? Show mommy how you eat your lovely courgette. <gasps> Clever girl. So I am going in with, mm, I'd flatten this bad boy out. Let's give us a little space. Mm, like half a cup of hummus, let's say. Mm, this is the ultimate combination. I couldn't imagine now starting my day any other way than with veggies and beans. Obviously I know I've got into the habit of it, but it just gives you so much on so many levels. So the other thing that I really want to tell this morning is I've got some fruit that needs using up. So I've got a couple of passion fruits and I had one. It was so delicious. Um, and we've got a plethora of oranges. So I need to eat these oranges. So I'm going to have that. Then I'm going to have this fruit. Um, and then I'm going to see when I get hungry and then I'll make some food after that. But I'm just going to, I'm just going to eat this medley first. So anyway, breakfast part one. Mm. Okay, so I've decided to whip up some little sushi kind of nugget things for when we go out. So I've got in here some chickpeas, some rice, carrots, and two grated broccoli stalks as well. I'm going to do um, nooch, garlic, salt, and some smoked paprika. Whack that in here, turn it into little tiny nugget shapes, and then stick it in the air fryer. So that is going to be our little snack on the way out um, to take out with us today. Um, we're going to have loads of fruit when we get there, and everyone else is going to have bread. So this should do the trick. Anyway, and then I'm going to whip up some ice cream for on the road. Okay, so this is the kind of mixture that I've got um, and you can literally throw, throw any grated veggies in here so it's a fantastic way to get veggies in. So I've whipped up another batch of my chocolate fluffy ice cream. This stuff is actually incredible, incredible. 
Mm. It's my new addiction. And the babies are excited about it too. And I've got my little nuggets. Came out of the air fryer, they're looking super good. And if anyone from the UK remembers um, sauce mix, which is like a vegan meaty kind of crumble thing and then you rehydrate it and then turn it into sausages. This is exactly like that to me. So if you are wanting a sauce mix thing, you gotta go make these. <laughs> Just had to show you guys one more time. The texture of this thing is incredible. Oh my gosh, if you haven't made it yet, you gotta go make it. Two cups of chickpeas and four frozen bananas in a food processor with cocoa powder and a touch of vanilla and a little bit of PB2. Oh, thank you, babes. But anyway, definitely try it out. <laughs> Raining cats and dogs. Whoa. It's raining cats and dogs. <laughs> so we are out at the Jesmyn food market and we've just stopped up on loads of good stuff. We have got loads of fruit, we've got some grapes, some oranges. Um, and what else did we get? Strawberries and raspberries. And the boys and Romy have also got a big and hunk of bread. sourdough, sourdough bread. So we're just gonna have a little wander um, and go to the park and then sit down and have a little picnic as well and then on the way back i think we're going to grab a little smoothie for me and abe and romy to share anyway romy in the book and let's go we've just sat down and have an, a little picnic so i'll show you we've got, we've got these little tots here which J james has decided are extremely tasty aren't they <laughs> um we've got some grapes got some strawberries raspberries and there's some oranges in there and the boys have also got some bread but these little tots are very delicious and like your bread abe fantastic romy should we have a little tot yeah Let's have a little. That's little not tot. little. Mmm. Mm. Mummy. Is that good tot? You know what? Mummy. Yeah, babes. You know what? What? Um, that is a, mm. a little tot. Is it a massive tot? Yeah. Great. Hi guys, how you doing? So it's about 4.30, we've been at home for a while um, We've just been doing a lot of family stuff Romy decided she was really hungry So I'm just giving her some food She got some sweet potato, some mixed beans I'm doing her some cucumber And I'm going to do I've found two bags of kale in the fridge So I thought I'd do a couple of big things of kale salad for tonight And I'm just trying to think about what we're going to do for dinner I do have a sneaky biscuit tea as always. Um, so we're going to be having just leftover chili tonight. Um, we've got either rice or sweet potato or I've got loads of potatoes. Um, so I thought I could do like some um, chips or something like fries. Um, so I'm trying to figure out which one I'm going to have, but it's only 4.30. So I'm not going to eat just yet. I'm going to put myself a little fresh snacky platter out. I was thinking nothing fresh really sounds appealing to me at the moment. Um, because I was walking around, I was like, mm, I don't really want to eat that, I don't really want to eat that. And then, firstly, I'm not super hungry. But also, if I cut it all up nicely and lay it out on a plate so it looks vibrant and beautiful and it just looks really appealing, I'm much more likely to eat it. So that's what I'm going to do. Regardless of, of how hungry I am right now, I'm going to just put myself a little fresh platter together, make it look really nice, chop it up lovely. Firstly, the kids will go for it, definitely. But secondly, I know that in the next 10 to 15 minutes, that is going to look appealing to me if I do that. So sometimes if you just, you know, if you just look at an orange, you're like, Meh, doesn't really look interesting. But if you spread it out with some cucumber and some other stuff, it could start to look really good. So I'm going to make myself a little fresh platter. And then after I've had that, maybe in about half an hour, I'm going to crack on with some actual dinner. So anyway, let's do this fresh platter. Okay, so I feel like this is such a game changer. I have made this lovely little fresh little platter for myself. Now that it's all chopped up and it's right in front of me, I'm literally just munching on it mindlessly without even thinking. So if you're not in the mood for fruits or veggies, make them presentable, make them accessible, put them right in front of you, and I promise you will eat them because you can just mindlessly snack and mindlessly munch. So anyway, I'm gonna go and eat this. I've got a third of a cucumber, two oranges, a carrot, and two little passion fruits in here. So I'm gonna go and enjoy this. And the kids might steal some, but I'm gonna eat most of it. Hello, right, so we are doing dinner. I've eaten all my fruits and veggies, and they were so delicious. And because they were in front of me, I just mindlessly was snacking on them, and I had the whole thing, and it was super yum. So I wanna show you what I've got going on for dinner this evening. I firstly started off with my veggie portion. I've just got a lovely, purple cabbage here uh amy style keeping it simple 
if you have a go-to way of cooking veggies, that's fantastic because you don't even have to think about what you're gonna do with the veggies. You just like put it on and then it does its own thing. Um, so then we've got some leftover chili. Yes, it's still in the Instant Pot. We didn't even take it out of the Instant Pot since last night because England is cold and so it's fine. Um, and I've also got some chippies going on there. My plan is I've got some tomatoes too. So James is having rice and chili and avocado and stuff. So my plan is big pile of chips, chili on the top, sprinkles of tomatoes, red cabbage on the side, and like some jalapenos on the top as well to give it like an extra something. So that's my vision, but I'm gonna have a bath first. So I'll show you when that magic comes together. Well, I've just got out of the bath and I wanna show you my lovely dinner that I've got going on here. So I've got two little um, potatoes worth of just lovely chips. I've just put garlic salt and smoked paprika on these bad boys. I've got a little bit of chili, loads, like half a head of purple cabbage and a tomato chopped up. I would have had more tomato, but I didn't have any. So anyway, this is my dinner this evening. Super low calorie density. I've got my lovely starches, potatoes and beans, ultimate, and loads of veggies. So this is a fantastic dinner. Um, I am gonna eat my veggie portion, mostly first with like little dips of other stuff, see how I feel, um, and then enjoy my starches. Um, and I'm gonna try and be um, cautious of my hunger fullness cues as well. Uh, but I, I am feeling quite hungry. Anyway. That is brilliant. Mm, you know, you know when you're hungry and that everything tastes incredible. I also have extra chili on here, by the way, that I just couldn't squeeze on there, um, but I'm gonna try and maybe squeeze it on if I fancy. Oh, and Romy's standing on a chair naked, so um, I need to go rescue her, so I'll be back. 